Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and uh, you've got everything you wanted, had some lovely food and spent some great time with the family. But now it's time for the serious stuff and a bit of Football Manager 2019. Hey guys, welcome back to more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe, if you're new around here, or oh, Santa Claus as they, they sometimes call me, I can't can't quite imagine why, but uh, welcome to part, part 4 of Season 7 of The Journeyman with Sheffield Wednesday, and in today's episode we take on Middlesbrough and Huddersfield, both in the league after yesterday surviving in our job. Thank goodness for that. Since you were last with us, we've done pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, we did draw one all with uh, Plymouth, at 87th minute penalty, getting them back into that one, and then we went out of the Carabao Cup on penalties to QPR, which was a bit of a shame. Uh, but then we thrashed uh, Norwich City 4-1, Soloth, Wilson and Maguire getting the goals there. And then uh, most recently we beat Preston uh, 5-0 away from home. Callum Wilson with a hat-trick, Sean Maguire and Angel Gomez also on the score sheet there. That all means that we are second in the championship at the moment. Just three points behind unbeaten Brighton and uh, and well ahead of uh, playoff positions at the moment. So we, we could be in for a really good season this year. We're, we are only eight games in. But uh, winning six of our first eight is certainly going to be a help. So, um, yeah, let's have a little look at the team that we're going to uh, pick for today. On Christmas Day 2018, I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get a nice gift from Santa today uh, in, the, in the form of three points. So... Yeah, let's let's do this then. Nick Pope will start in goal. By the way, um, we will be streaming later on today over on Twitch at 7.30pm. Um, that is when we will be streaming our Christmas Day uh, live stream. So come and join me for that. Um, and we should have also had an analytics review for 2018 out today as well. Or at least I'm hoping to record that before I go away. But anyway, Ralston, Tiru, Denswell and Keita will start in defence with Brown and Willock in the middle. And Bruno and Angel Gomez starting wide of Callum Wilson and Sean Maguire up top. So let's get into it uh, and let's... Let's tear them apart, Bora. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, I don't know where they are <coughs> in the league uh, currently, but um, they usually do well in the championship. Although last year they had a bit of a whimper, didn't they, towards the end? They were one of the teams that we were fighting for relegation. But uh, look what's happened to us since then. We we were one point above the relegation zone last year. And we lost something like 14 out of the last 15 games. So, you can turn it around. You really can. Middle spread down in 20th. They don't look like they've turned it around much. Uh, Sunderland currently bottom of the table. Here's uh, Stevenson with the free kick just over the bar. A little bit fortunate for us there. <clears throat> now here's Angel Gomez with the free kick into the middle. Bruno's there and that's offside, unfortunately. I thought... Um, I thought that was a brilliant header, but uh, unfortunately, he was offside. Although I don't think it was him. It wasn't him that was offside, and I think that's a very, very harsh uh, offside decision there. Because uh, whoever was offside, I think it was Callum Wilson, wasn't interacting uh, or wasn't. Um, what do you call it again? Uh, I guess it might be interacting. I'm not entirely sure, but. Um, yeah, here's Pope. Now Denswell. Denswell on the ball. Willock. Willock now. What's he going to do with it? Gets it forward to Gomez. Here's Gomez. He's pushing forward. Ooh. Oh, it's just over the bar. Thought that was perhaps going to be one of them freak goals that you sometimes get in football manager. But apparently not. Anyway, let's uh, show some passion out there, lads. Come on. 
Come on. They're frustrated, apparently. All I want is a bit of passion on Christmas Day. And they can't they can't give us it. <laughs> oh dear. Half time anyway. Nils each. Right. Let's be aggressive with them. Not happy with the performance. And uh let's try and crack on with the second half. Here's Tiru. Mm. I mean we're absolutely dominating the game, so what can we do differently? I guess finish, you know, that <laughs> that's something we can do. Leads 3-0 up against Redden. Right. Uh Brown come off and, and we'll give Tom Kearney a go. Um <clears throat> Sean Maguire can come off for Soloth. And perhaps Callum Wilson for Danny Welbeck. Just just change it up a little bit up top. 30 minutes to go here. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Here's Denswell. Forward to Kearney now. Kearney on the ball. Forward to Bruno. Bruno with a shot. And it's a good save by Brain. But this would be a case of two points lost rather than a point gained, most definitely. You know, these are the types of games we want to be winning if we want to be up there at the end of the season at home to a, a relegation threatened team. Oh, they're going to win, aren't they? Sombolonga. Has scored his ninth goal of the season. Ah, oh, it's one nil. Twenty-five minutes to go. Come on, boys. That was just really, really poor from us. Very attacking. Demand more. Come on. We're all focused. Twenty minutes to go here. Can we do it? Can we have a chance? We'll take a draw now, most definitely. Get creative. Come on. Come on, sons. <laughs> Please. Oh, I don't think we're going to do it. Here's Stevenson now. Oh, Denzel's going to get sent off. Ah, uh, Now, unbeaten home start, or unbeaten home form, is uh, is, is going to come to an end now. Because uh, five minutes left, we're down to ten men. So, I very much doubt we're going to get back into this and well here's Bryn you never know can we get our head on it no it's Matty Cash Matty Cash with the shot and that's well wide in the end surely that's not a highlight it, it, it was apparently and this is going to be full time there it is and that is a very disappointing 1-0 defeat to Middlesbrough you've got to say that is disappointing and now Unfortunately, we have to go away to Huddersfield and put in as a much better performance and try and win a much harder game to win. Well, a couple of changes for this match against Huddersfield then. Dykes comes in as well as a Mankwe, but apart from that, we're keeping everything the same. We're not going to panic uh, that we lost against Middlesbrough. We're going to we're going to go out there today and and, and try and, and show the boys that we've got faith in them. Um you know, I think we we could be could be ridiculous and just go and change the whole team, but I I don't think we need to panic at this stage. You know, I think if we go out there, we put in a good performance, we can prove to everybody um, that was just a blip, and uh, and and hopefully that will be the case. <laughs> if we lose again today, I'm going to look a little bit silly, but uh, you know, we're still fourth in the in the championship. You know, um, if we finish there at the end of the season, we'll definitely take that. Here's Tavener on the ball, though, for Huddersfield. Now Miller, and it's 1-0, although it's offside. So it's 0-0. <laughs> but uh, slightly worrying how easily we were carved open there. Tavener with uh, the decisive ball, and look how close that was. Within an inch of being 1-0 down right there. So... I'm hoping that that was uh, just a minor blip in this match and uh, we can continue, hopefully, uh, doing something good here. You guys haven't seen a goal yet this episode. We've been devastatingly good in front of goal this season, so it seems a little bit odd that we haven't really had a, a, a chance yet, to be honest with you. We've been pretty poor in both games so far. Here's Willock. Oh, that was poor. Poor again, Tavener now on the ball, Tavener pushing forward, here's Miller with a shot, and it's a good save by Nick Pope. Lucky, you would have to say that we uh, 
that we had Nick Pope in that situation. He has Fleck, gets it into the middle, and uh, that's good. It's good from Pope. Well done. Now then, 30 minutes in, what are we going to do? We're going to tell them to show some passion, I think. And hopefully that'll G them up a little bit, although I don't think it... No, it has worked. Um, oh, Willock uh, loses the ball. Now he has Senk Tosin, Tavernet. Great tackle. That's into the middle, though. Miller. Mm, oh, God. What a terrible goal to concede there. That was absolutely awful. Oh... I don't want everyone feeling sad on Christmas Day either. Because <laughs> I certainly am feeling sad now. Oh, that's just absolutely horrific. It really is. Right, we're going to go attacking now. I'm going to try and, and be proactive. Fleck into the middle. Oh, it was nearly 2-0 there, but Bruno's got it. Bruno pushing forward now. Ball over the top towards Maguire. This is a chance. Sean Maguire, what a finish that is. Sean Maguire's 10th goal of the season already. And that was an absolutely sublime finish there from him. And uh, want to, to add to the collection. And even Bruno's assist was fantastic. Look at that. Over the top. Absolutely perfectly weighted. And then Maguire with his second touch into the top left corner. That was absolutely brilliant. Out of this world. Gets us back on level terms just before half time, and it means we can push on in this second half now and just forget that the the first game and a half has ever happened. Um, but ten goals in in ten games is pretty damn good going for Sean Maguire, and uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we would have took that at the start of the season. Uh, Callum Wilson is going to come off. We're going to put Soloth on there instead. And uh, we'll see how that partnership works out up top. Callum Wilson, a little bit disappointing so far. Um, you know, obviously he scored a hat-trick a couple of games ago, but uh, not the, the, quite the goal machine I expected at this level just yet. You know, maybe uh, he just needs to gel with it with his teammates for a little bit longer. He has Soloff. That's forward to Willock now. Willock with a shot, but that's blocked. We certainly look a little bit more promising uh, since we've went attacking. Um... In, in the middle of that first half. Here's Tavener. He's pushing forward now. That's a good ball forward towards Miller. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, Tavener was there, though, with the rebound. And now we're going to have to go very attacking. A minute into the second half. And unfortunately, we go behind again. It was a good run forward by Tavener. Ball over the top. Miller with the shot. Great save from Nick Pope. But he couldn't get to that one. Unlucky. Unlucky, you would have to say. And Dykes, back to his old form of a 5.9. You know, I was hoping that, uh, you know, in his first two matches he played a 7.95. I thought maybe he's turned a corner, but no, he's he's still rubbish. Here's Maguire. Maguire on the ball, gets it in in the middle. Soloth was there. Willock now, what a goal that is from Joe Willock on the volley. And it's 2 all. What a match this has been. Uh, and it was the ball, the initial ball from Sean Maguire that caused all the danger on this uh, left-hand side. He brought it in. Soloth was there, but Keane got it away. And then on the volley, Willock into the bottom right corner. And we're now 2-2 two, two with, uh, with just over half an hour remaining. Let's get creative out there. Let's try and win this game. We're going to drop back to attacking. Just because we don't want to go too ridiculous here this early on. But here's uh, Dykes now. Dykes to Soloth. Bruno. Bruno. That's a penalty. Oh, it's not. Apparently it's a free kick and Fleck is going to get sent off so that we're going to be up against 10 men for the final 25 minutes here. Fleck is gone. And wow, how is that not a penalty? <laughs> that is right on the edge of the area. We obviously didn't make anything from it though. Here's Bruno with the fr uh, corner into the middle. Brown's there, and it is 3-2 now. And that is absolutely brilliant. Alan Brown with the free header, 3-2 up. And what a victory this would be. We are the comeback kings this season, it would appear. We're going to put Kane Wilson uh, at right back. We might put Paul Dummett at left back as well. I think that's where we're looking frail. 
at the moment so that's what exactly what we'll do that was a pinpoint cross and Brown was there and just sort of stood on it and nodded his head a little bit and it went in and that is 3-2 comeback kings most definitely we have come from behind a lot this season but uh, we just keep giving ourselves work to do and uh, you know some days we will make it easy for ourselves but uh, you never know this this could be where Huddersfield come back here this is Pedro Diaz now Sapanara can we get the tackle in come on Miller Miller pushing forward he shoots Ooh, and that one that beat the keeper it was close Pope now Willock what's he gonna do with it Bruno Bruno on the ball Bruno gets it forward towards Gomez oh that was a chance that was a chance a big chance at that as well here comes Bruno into the middle oh so we dumb it once again nope end of highlight but this would mean that we're third in the league which would be absolutely fantastic at this stage Bruno into the middle and Dubravka was there to collect <coughs> Boots are clear. And Wilson's there. Don't lose it. He boots it forward as well towards Gomez. Gomez has got it. Willock. Now to Maguire. Here's Soloth. Oh, it's away. That was a chance. Chance once again. Amanqua. Forward to Gomez, who almost lost it. Twice there. Willock says, here, give it to me. Dumb it into the middle. It's away by Hurd. Miller away now. Bruno's going to chase it down. This is brilliant passion. Brown. Bruno. Can we seal it? Brown. Willock. Oh, what a goal that is. Two absolute stunners from Willock in this game. Absolutely brilliant there with the shot. That was fantastic. 4-2 now. And uh, you would surely say that that's the end of the match. Brown with the assist. And what a fantastic finish that was from Joe Willock. 4-2. He has done it now. Maguire into the middle. Bruno makes it 5. Yes. This is fantastic. Free scoring from us again this season. We score so many goals. And it's an absolute joy to watch. And I don't understand what happened against Middlesbrough. But Bruno with an absolutely fabulous goal there. And uh, this genuinely could be a really fantastic season. A come from 2-1 behind, a win 5-2 is absolutely terrific. Um, and here's Soloth trying to make it 6 Kane. Wilson now, here's Bruno, I think that's offside and it is and surely that is going to be where the ref leaves play today and it is and it was a fantastic match, 7 goals uh, split 5-2 in our favour and that helps us back on track and it makes up for the defeat against Middlesbrough early on in the episode. We're 5 points clear of 7th place. Bristol City and were already putting to shame what happened at the end of last season. What a fantastic start that is. If you include pre-season, that is looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, we do have Brighton in a, a few games time, but we probably won't show that one on camera just yet. We'll maybe do Cardiff and Portsmouth in the next episode. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a Christmas like down there below. Hopefully you've enjoyed your day. Uh, keep enjoying your day. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy it while it lasts. Christmas only comes once a year. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.